Hi again folks, Mike here. I left you with how to export images. Uh, the last video, this one is how to print them and it will be very basic how to print them because I'm not the print wizard that others in the club might be. Um, here is uh, the image we were exporting in the last video. Um, let's assume I wish to export this instead of as a file. I want to send it to my printer which is attached to the computer and I want to do that in order to um, enter into a competition. So I've got A4 paper in the uh, printer ready to go. So we'll see how this works. Right, um, first point for printing is that uh, it's a dark science, dark art that some others will be able to do better than me. Um, but for my perspective, this image is not um, in the state at the moment to print because as a micro four thirds user, the height and the width of the image is not the same as um, an A4 piece of paper. An A4 piece of paper is a slightly different shaped rectangle. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to create a virtual copy of this file, so I keep the original by right clicking on it and taking create virtual copy which will give me a copy of exactly the same as my original but as you see up here top left copy one. Why have I done that? Because I'm now going to move to the develop area because here I want to crop it to the same shape as the A4 piece of paper that I want to print it on. So I'm going to go into the tools here on the, the right hand side, the box, and click there. It's currently at the original aspect, but I don't want that. I want the A4 shape. Works for A3 as well. So I want to change the aspect ratio from 4x3, which is its original, to A4, which is well, it's 297 millimeters by 210 millimeters. So I've created a custom ratio of 297 by 2.1 in order to get that. And this, when I just click there, will show you that I'm just losing a little bit from the top and the bottom. That isn't a particular problem for me. Um, I'm going to leave it there. But it just means that the printer the print copy is now the correct aspect ratio to fit on the paper. Done. I'll show you how that translates into the, the print module. This is the one that is the original ratio. If we go across now to the develop, from develop across to print, Here's a print layout. On the left hand side there's all kinds of different ratios and layouts you can have for that have been preset, Lightroom templated them all. I haven't bothered with any other different ones. I've just used the ones that Lightroom comes with. But I find the maximized size one is the one to use. Now here's the original 4x3 and you see there's a white band at the top and the bottom of this because it won't fit on the A4 piece of paper. I could zoom it to fill that, but then I'm cutting a little bit off the top and the bottom, effectively the same as I would have, I have done in um, the develop module. If I go to the cropped version, it's automatically there. But the zoom to fill is something that is Possible to use if you can't be bothered changing the, the ratios in the develop area. Um, 
and as you see you can drop drag this round a little bit to make sure you're not cropping off bits and pieces but it's more accurate if you do it in the develop mode I've left it on rotate to fit because if I didn't it would zoom to fill the A4 sheet of paper but obviously not in a landscape format when Lightroom comes as, as a start because it's an American software program it often comes with the wrong page set up so the first thing that you need to check is that on the bottom left here page setup that you form that the print is formatted to fit on in my case a Canon printer and the paper size is A4 they usually come with US letter as a standard um, this is printed on A4 I actually want to fit it on A4 and borderless so that it fills the full sheet of paper and that's fine that's the page setup as you can see there's different ways of moving this this layout and this is used more for these templates different margins around the box into which the image will be placed but for a single sheet do that zoom to fill the margins are minimal the print job itself I'm going to send it to the printer it's possible if you want to send a file to a print lab to send it as a file a JPEG file if you wish to do so if you want to take control of this but I find that the easiest way of doing it to a lab is to send them the full resolution original um, as we said as under the export version system and let them color manage but if you want to color manage and you've got profiles from the print laboratory or whatever then you can send it as a JPEG file and deal with the color management in accordance with their instructions. I want to print this at a high resolution of 300 although if you wanted to you could change that. In the same way as we had export sharpening um, and when we did that for screen we sharpened for screen. Um, this is being sharpened in my case for glossy paper. So I'm going to print this on glossy it looks like it will go quite nicely on glossy paper with the shiny lights and so on. Um, my preference is to let the printer manage the colour. If you are more advanced than me, firstly you won't be listening to this video, um, but secondly within Lightroom you would then pick whichever print profiles are available on your system um, to match your own requirements. I'm going to just leave it managed by printer. Occasionally when you've done your first print you'll find that they come out a little bit dark or a little bit light um, which Lightroom can cope with by giving you some print adjustments so if you find they're consistently coming out a little bit too dark you can tick this print adjustment and increase or decrease the brightness depending on how your test print has gone and increase or decrease the contrast I find that once you've got this set to just about what you like it's very rare that you need to change that you'll get used to your printer and your inks and it will do the necessary after that it becomes very much printer specific um, under print settings here you have the dialogue which brings up your printer dialogue now this is the dialogue for my printer so yours will be different um, the thing to be sure of is that the color matching I've asked down the bottom right for it to be managed by printer so I'm using Canon color matching so that the Canon software the print drivers and so on will do the color matching for me paper handling I want the page order to be printed I only want I want all pages to print you, it is possible to put three or four images into this and print in a batch 
the quality I'm using some semi-gloss paper and it's in the rear tray of my printer and I want it high quality if Lightroom print adjustment here in the bottom right doesn't quite get it you can increase the brightness make it lighter or darker if you need to but this is again specific for your printer so your options here will be different so there we are that's what I'm going to send this one for so I'm sending it having done that that set up the, the print settings I can now just hit the print button at the top left in the same way as the export gave you a progress bar this is now preparing the print job it's taking all these settings on the right here it's taking my original raw file it's applying the development settings that I'd applied to the image in Lightroom and it's creating a print job it's sending a file to the printer it's done that very quickly and down at the bottom here I can see now my printer has got a job going and it's printing and just next to me the printer started buzzing away if your print doesn't come out the way you want it to then the answer is to as I say adjust the print brightness and contrast to get it as close as you want it to be to the output you want and that ladies and gentlemen is how to print an image from Lightroom any questions as always please let me know thanks for watching bye